Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 4th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. You know, I just love it when the forecast has lots of things in it, including warmth, coolness, rain, maybe some winter weather. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Satellite image this morning uh, shows a good deal of clear skies over uh, the eastern two-thirds of the southeastern United States, but we do see a few clouds over the lower Mississippi River Valley. Temperatures basically pretty close to forecast values uh, this morning with uh, about the northern half of the state basically in the 30s, and I suspect we'll see some reports of patchy fog. The good weather, thanks to this large high-pressure system over Canada, extending down across the Great Lakes and into the southeastern U.S., but that is returning moisture uh, up into the western sections of the lower Mississippi River Valley across East Texas and Oklahoma, as we can see there. The uh, upper air chart, 500 millibars, shows a nice ridge over us, but that will be gradually changing as we see a bit of a pattern shift. Radar does show a few showers uh, over the lower Mississippi River Valley, over parts of Louisiana, East Texas, and Arkansas. Watch warning map, uh, a little less complicated thanks to the fact that the bomb cyclone is gone uh, out of the northeastern U.S. The greens you see over the lower Mississippi River Valley are flood advisories. The bright uh, reddish pink colors that you see from uh, the El Paso area up into eastern Colorado and uh, western sections of Kansas are high fire danger. And then all of the other advisories that you see, all those other colors are related to winter weather with the next storm system. QPF, we're looking at uh, rainfall amounts that will vary uh, much like we saw yesterday from about a third of an inch over the Tennessee River Valley to around an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter over the southeastern sections. There's a little bit uh, closer look. Uh, the uh, rainfall values coming down just a little bit, uh, uh, not uh, too terribly different than what we saw yesterday. SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, has a marginal risk uh, out ahead of that next system uh, over parts of northeast Texas, southeast Oklahoma, and uh, southwestern Arkansas on day one. That's, of course, today. Day two, that's Monday, we see a marginal risk uh, over the lower Mississippi River Valley just to the west of Alabama. But it looks like instability values will be decreasing as it uh, uh, comes further east. And then on uh, day three, we see only thunderstorms. All right. The 06Z GFS model run, there's our large high-pressure system. There goes the bomb cyclone out there on the, the right side of the uh, picture. On uh, Monday morning, we see a nice trough that's coming out of uh, the north-central uh, part of the United States uh, with a closed low over uh, southeast S South Dakota. And that is going to be digging in and producing some chillier weather for us for the latter part of the week. The front, as you see, uh, Monday will be uh, uh, just to the west of the lower Mississippi River Valley, uh, and we s will see the possibility of some uh, light precipitation. Instability values, while it's out that way, you can see why SPC has a marginal risk over that area of the lower Mississippi River Valley as we see those values getting up between about uh, uh, 1,000 and 1,300 uh, joules per kilogram on the Cape values. That uh, closed low digs into Iowa and is digging into the eastern half of the country on Tuesday, and so that should uh, keep the uh, cold front moving very nicely as it clears much of the, the state of Alabama by midday. So it's going to be one of those days where the temperatures uh, probably will fall through the 50s for much of the day, I think, especially the afternoon hours uh, as the low pressure area moves into the Great Lakes and the front trails on. And as I mentioned, uh, this is the Cape values for Tuesday at midday. And you can see that it's practically nothing. And basically it was diminishing as it came across the uh, Mississippi River Valley. The trough really digs in on Wednesday, and that turns our air much colder as we see a good northerly fetch at the surface coming all the way out of uh, central, north, or, uh, central Canada. The 500 millibar chart on Thursday shows that nice trough. That keeps us pretty chilly, and the trough begins to uh, 
move out to the east on Friday. So uh, Friday morning will be kind of chilly, I think, and we'll have to be watching for the possibility of widespread uh, frost and freeze values on uh, especially Thursday and Friday mornings. By uh, Saturday, uh, the flow has gone almost zonal across the southern tier of the United States, but we have these little uh, embedded uh, short waves in them and those helping to create some uh, problems for us in the terms of rain over the southeastern U.S. and the lower Mississippi River Valley on uh, Saturday. Sunday, we see another one of those troughs coming in out of the north central U.S. and uh, south central Canada and uh, over eastern Iowa, you see there. And that uh, will be once again digging into the southeastern U.S. And uh, that uh, shows a nice uh, surface low over north Alabama. So it looks like next weekend should be a bit uh, stormy. Now, we're just barely verging into voodoo country. This is Monday, March the 12th. And that closed low really digs into north Georgia. And as a result, the thickness values really plunge. Look at that 540 line going all the way down. Uh, to South Alabama and almost into northwest Florida there. Uh, as a result, the precipitation the GFS is forecasting could be in the form of, okay, maybe some light snow. There's a little bit closer look at the GFS forecast. Are we making a forecast? Mm, not really. It's there. Will it be there tomorrow? Eh, you know how it is in voodoo country. Here today, gone tomorrow. There's uh, the, the cold weather sticks with us through the 13th of March as that uh, closed low moves off the southeast coast. But we come under a ridge by the 15th, so we warm up nicely. That's one of the beauties of the southeastern U.S. We stay under a bit of a ridge through uh, the 17th as another nice trough is developing out over the Rockies. Uh, and then that system comes out around the 19th that uh, promises maybe some stormy weather for us around that. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Enjoy this spectacular day once again, and Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.